every car you own, you must plant 10 trees. And, and, and one third for people, pedestrian bus again, and one third for public traveling. This was a, my proposal, our proposal for the connecting bridge between, and tunnel between Cavite and Bataan. Now they, they're doing now the civil studies. I proposed it many years ago. This is the best author award I got, the Philippines towards resilient cities communities. Unfortunately, also about Next slide. Yeah. I have ADB hired me to for a paper on walkable cities. The whole 27 kilometers of EDSA we have put forward elevated walkways and bicycle lanes with vendors. So 24 hours cycle activity centers. These proposals they have implemented it in Dubai with walkalators interconnecting the different destinations from the MRT in Dubai. I like this uh, quotation ever since I was a student from Damien Burnham, who planned Manila in 1905, back in 1909 in Chicago. And he wrote, well, I think when he was planning Manila, make no little plans. They have no magic to stir men's blood. Make big plans in high in hope and work, remembering that a noble logical diagram once recorded will never die. But long after we are gone, with the living thing asserting itself with ever-growing insistence, Remember that our sons and daughters are going to do things that will stagger us. Let your watchword be order and be good beauty. Then you burn. Very nice. Huh? And during pandemic, I got this quotable quote from Winston Churchill. Never let a good crisis go to waste. Learn from it. We shape our buildings. Thereafter, they shape us. I paraphrase this. We shape our environment. Thereafter, the environment shape us. And aside from commercial architecture, civic architecture, these are our advocacies at Palafox. Architecture of activism, architecture for humanity, architecture of faith, architecture for the poor, architecture for transportation, architecture of infrastructure, green architecture, democratic architecture, patriotic architecture, philanthropic architecture. I was recognized in New York as an ambassador of peace and goodwill because of our advocacies. Not our large uh, building projects, but the philanthropic work we do uh, post disasters all over the world. And I wrote this in 1973. I was 23 years old. Oh, now I'm 72 that. years old. Uh -huh. Development is not worthy of a name unless but even in a butter and a piece of bread. When I was in Harvard, they called that this inclusive growth, inclusive zoning, anti snob zoning. Instead, of Massachusetts, they had an anti snob zoning. Bawa ng Isnabelo. Oh. And we got the, the wrong models for our urban planning. We got it from the Spanish politicization of town planning. Town class of concept. Intramuros for the rich and powerful, never connected, illustrados and principalia. Extramuros for the Indios, the sun guys, and the poor. <laughs> our planning today versus is still the same, with the gated communities. I'm also guilty of that because I used to live in two gated communities and I planned them. But now I realize when you live in a large home in a city, you have a larger carbon footprint. And I compare Rockwell to master planning. 200 families per hectare. Forbes Park, four families per hectare. Who has a higher environmental footprint? So when you are in the middle of the city, it should be higher density. And we make, after the war, we threw away the Daniel Burnham plan and we copied erroneously Los Angeles, designed for the automobile. Our Asian neighbors, European and Japanese planning, vertical urbanism. And, and to correct this, like Makati, daytime populations, Makati City, 11 times the nighttime population. So there should be more residential units, dwelling units around Makati. And they repeated the same mistakes in, in Fort Bonifacio. It's all happening now in our business park. Exclude the poor, exclude the employees. So development is not worth even name unless it's spread like water and a piece of bread. Everything we do is pro deo patria terra for God, country, and planet Earth. And this is, I think we'd like to live in, in master plan and design green buildings, sustainable communities and cities that are smarter, resilient, capable, local world. With transit oriented, public transit safer, healthier, happy. Dubai now, their theme is happy Dubai because they already achieved prosperity. 
and better lighted, more convenient cleaner, with mixed strong conservation and mixed development, with places to live, work, shop, dine, and worship, with healthcare and wellness centers for the patient, and this year with 24 hours, uh, keep it set. Rockwell, 1992, the land value was 8,000 per square meter. After our architectural design master plan came out, wala pang permit, 120,000 per square meter. So a good plan, add value. Next slide. 